I wonder if I need to cut these apart or just give them a twist like that. And that will Now this is probably the best way to do these things, but I'm gonna tell you what, that's a lot of work. Uh, doing these, it's aluminum, but it's just very little aluminum and weight wise. Weight-wise, they're easy to strip down. But it ain't like I ain't got something to do. But what I need to do I need to get my chair over here <laughs> I need to get that tool up before it gets buried. Before it gets buried. Get my little behind over here. Oh. You know what? I need to get my drill out here with the bit on it. Oh. Uh-huh. Alright, which one has that? I don't want to drill, but I want that. Now, I need sockets. There's that little jewel I dropped on my foot the other day. I'll get socket later. I'll get socket later. Uh, right now. Oh. Now. Yeah. I'm gonna have to get the uh, my roller magnet out here when I get done with all this start picking up some huh 
Oh yeah. For those of you that don't know, these pieces on these uh, ceiling fan blades are, uh, am I talking to myself? Nope. I don't know them. They are zinc. But anymore, it goes right in with this aluminum. They don't, uh, they don't, uh, zinc actually supposed to be higher, pays a higher price than the aluminum, but of course TMR don't do it. They don't do it. I don't like TMR. Ever since they ripped me off on that hundred pounds of brass. I mean, they got me good on that. It was a hundred pounds. And they give me five dollars in change for that hundred pounds of brass. And that should have been a hundred dollars easy. I wonder what the easiest way would be to get that screen out of there, but I ain't I ain't gonna worry about it. Alright, goddamn. You know what? That's a come on. That is a, I know what, that's got, this has been in a far. I may, I may micro scrap that. Ah, uh, now, I'm gonna set my coffee right over here. Now, let me see how I would do this, if I can do it basically the same way. And it looks like I can. Yeah, this is a pain in the butt, but it's aluminum, and I for sure can't be discarding it. Yeah, I'm going to have several days of micro-scrapping out here. I can see that right now. I can't build a fire today. I was going to burn a lot of burnable stuff, but I can't do that. And you know what? I hope, I don't think this has got rained on, but... Uh, this uh, 
I checked this the other day, and that is a whole brand new Miracle Grow fertilizer. You can do veggies with it, you can do flowers, and it is all purpose. Now, what you do, that is a lot of fertile. Don't look like it, but it is, because what you do, you mix this. You mix, Let me read it to you. You mix this in water, so it's a liquid fertilizer. And... Uh, mix one half teaspoon the small end of enclosed scoop per gallon so that means that little that little bit right there makes a gallon of, of liquid fertilizer and then if you're going to mix a lot more then you can mix it in the bigger one but that's that's what this is and I thought it was around ten dollars, but no, it's it's almost fourteen dollars now. And for larger outdoor gardens, fill the feeder jar to the top of the label. See feeder package for additional. For best results, use every seven to fourteen day. Just soak the soil at the base of each plant to fertilize. But that, my friends, is, is a lot of liquid fertilizer right there. It sure is. And that's brand new. It ain't, it ain't been used. And I got a few plants around. I need to get busy with my plants. I really do. Now, I have noticed... This is coming apart a lot easier. <laughs> yeah. This is coming apart a lot easier. I guess because this, at one time, this was, um, had, uh, well, maybe not. Anyway. green things I won't be burning those um, just in case mr. Raymond Dumont if you're watching I'm not burning stuff that's gonna be toxic to the atmosphere and these screens definitely would be uh, what I do I dump them in the garbage can and they get hauled away they get hauled away Matter of fact, this one's coming apart pretty easy. Come on, there, screen. Yeah, folks, I know this is not very profitable, but what am I going to be? I don't have a job to go to. And so I sit here. I would be just sitting anyway, so I'm sitting here making pennies. So for me, that's what it's all about. I shudder to think if this was my livelihood. How y'all doing?
They ain't talking to me. And they're, they're like old people, and one guy's on a walker. I ought to, maybe I ought to run out there and talk to him. Maybe I'll jump on my scooter and go catch him. I think I will. I think I will. I think I will. Let me go see if I can catch him. I'm gonna go catch him. GoPro stop recording. Let me see if I can catch him post. They might be neighbors. Well dang, they sure walking fast. Let me go see, where did they go? Where did they go? I wonder if they're neighbors. Well, they gotta be neighbors, they're walking. All right, they couldn't have gone far as slow as they was walking. There they go. Hey, sir. I seen you walking by. I seen you walking by. USMC. USMC. You were a Marine. Yeah. A jarhead. Ain't that what they used to call it? My them? daughter calls it a hardhead jarhead. <laughs> <laughs> Do you, you serve? Yeah, I serve. I was in. I was in six years, and I. I got chicken and got out right. When Vietnam started up, I was coming up for discharge, and I just, yeah. I didn't want to go. And uh, my brother's done been over there twice and got shot up. Oh, yeah. And um, I just didn't want, Mama didn't want me to go, and, because he'd already been, and that was my younger brother. Right, uh-huh. But that sucker, he, he went over there, and his tour ended, and he got a purple heart on that one. And then when he got back out, he was out like five or six weeks and re-enlisted again to go back to Vietnam. Oh, wow. There was four of us. All three of the oldest ones went in the Marines. And the youngest one went in the Army. And so I asked him, why'd you go in the Army for? You know, you broke a tradition. He said, well, the brother was next to him said he told me not to go in the Marines. I said he was trying to use reverse psychology. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, my brother. What years were you in? 55 to 59. 55. That's the golden years as far as. Well, it's in between everything. Yeah. Anything I Same thing with me. I went in 59 and I got out in 65. Yeah, right. Yeah, right before. Yeah, so you was there too. Yeah. On mine, the only problem was was right after the Korean conflict. So around home, I'm from West Virginia, Charleston. To get a, any decent job around there, they would ask you if you had your military time in. Yeah. They'd be afraid you get drafted. So I just went from going to join. I think I hit your mirror. So That's all right. Um, yeah, they, they don't draft anymore. You know, no, it's all volunteer. No, and, and volunteer I'm surprised that people volunteer with stuff going on like there well, is. We now. have uh, the National Guard. Our National Guard at home is now over in Afghanistan. They call them up and send them over. And where are you from? Uh, Charleston, West Virginia. Oh, okay. You're a hillbilly. I'm from Tick Red, sir. Halfway them butts up in Country Creek. <laughs> <laughs> hey, I'm from I, North Carolina, up in the well, mountains. Yeah, up there. Right? I have a daughter in Charlotte and one in Cary. Yeah. Yeah. They moved out of West Virginia, couldn't find jobs. Yeah. We used to say 77 South was a West Virginia Highway South. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, so you don't live here? No, this is my. Uh, brother-in-law lives here okay my uh my wife's uh a, a brother and his wife yeah yeah and uh 
But anyway, I'd like to keep this. Yep. I go on YouTube. I have you. Do you go on a computer? Oh, I go on YouTube. A lot of people around our age don't. Oh. I, I, me, I, I, I do everything on the on YouTube just about it because I have a Roku. I mean, you know what that is or not? Yeah. Yeah, Roku, and that's on my TV, so I can pull up. Uh, there's an app on there like I can pull up YouTube on it. Yeah. Oh, man, I look for everything in there. I got a yeah. You can go to my channel on, on Junk Dauber there and you can see what I do around the neighborhood. But I, okay. people say I'm nuts and all that stuff. I pick up cans and if I see trash, like if I see trash laying in his yeah. yard, I'll, I'll pick it up and take it with me. Well, you know, we, we pick up buggies out in the lot and take them in. And yeah. If we see trash, I wait pick it up, you know. Uh, recycling is what I try to do. That's, that's me. What I did is I turned my yard into gardens. Uh -huh. Okay, I recycle for a reason. I've been even growing red wiggler worms. Have you heard of vermiculture? Of who? Vermiculture. Yeah. Yeah, where you grow worms and you, you put them in your garden mm -hmm. so that they they enrich your garden. Yep. Yeah. I did that. I did that for a while, uh, but I got so many worms now. I don't. I got. I got beds, and um, uh, they just multiply now. Oh yeah. Yeah, I feed them kitchen scrap. These are red wigglers. Yeah. Know. Yeah, well, yours is like that. And they're, I'm not sure they're what they're basically they're... composting worms. They won't, they don't go deep. Yeah. They, they, they stay shallow, so you yeah. gotta protect them a little bit. You know what night crawlers are? Oh, absolutely. Boy, we used to, yeah. some things are expensive if you go buy a bait. Well, that, you, if you know what you're doing, you can get them out of the ground. Yeah. 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 Yeah, we used uh, to go out with a little carbide lamp at night. Yeah. That's going right. after them things. Yeah. Absolutely. And if there wasn't any out there, we'd wet the ground a little bit and let them get, they start Are popping out. Uh, junk dauber? And, uh, yeah, that, that's my channel. Junk dauber. Matter of fact, there you go. I got to get one of them. I, they, uh, uh, I just hadn't, they you want me to go to Gainesville to get. Discounts everywhere with this. Hmm? You get discounts with that everywhere. Yeah. You ask them. And sure do. I stopped at uh, Arby's and I was kidding them. I said, you know, I'm old, fat, and ugly, and the veteran, what do I get? You know they give me 25% of it? Yeah. Said, oh, yeah, man, you do. That. Now, before you leave, there's one thing i got to tell you. What do you feel that Army stands for Art Ready Marines yet? <laughs> okay. Do you know what Marine stands for? Uh, Muscles are required, intelligence not essential. <laughs> My, 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 one of my younger brothers was in the Marines, and I got several nephews that was in the Marines, but when he got discharged from the Marines, he went and re-enlisted re to the Army. I, yeah. I ain't figured that out. There's people do that. They go back and forth, yeah. yeah. Well, it's really funny with me, because when I went in, the buddy that I was hanging out with, yeah. so we said we got to get our service time over so we get a good job. And he was from a Navy family. And he said, well, let's go join the Navy. Wow, yeah, see the world, you know. So I go up there to the office, and they look at me, check me over, and said, don't let the door I'm hitching the rear end. He didn't say rear end. <laughs> what? So right next door was the Marines. So the door went in. Next thing I know, I'm in boot camp, Paris Island. <laughs> <laughs> I'm down Paris Island. Checks me over. I'm more than legally blind with right eye. And I don't know whether you're a Christian or not, but I got to say it like this. Yeah. He said, I don't know how the hell you got down here, but you're not leaving. <laughs> and you know what they did? They put me C going. I would have been on two aircraft carriers, LSDs, LSTs, uh, landing ships, Mike and Peter boats, uh, LSDs, LSTs, that's a landing ship dock and landing ship tank. I've been on all of them. I've been down to St. Lawrence Water in the Green Lakes, Mediterranean three times, around the tip of South America, over the Far East. My buddy didn't get in water. <laughs> Up to Navy. There you go. All right, oh, uh, am I recording? Yeah, are you recording? Yep, so I am. I'm, are you going to be on one of my videos? Uh-oh. <laughs> now, now they'll bill me. <laughs> they'll, be, they'll be on there about, let's see, today is Wednesday. It'll, it'll probably go up uh, Sunday. I don't, I don't do, I don't put videos up on Saturday because uh, I have a live stream at 5 o'clock every Saturday. And, um. I don't want to put too much up there when people might get tired of seeing too much of me. So I put up about five videos a week, something five like that. Yeah. 
Yep, but it's just me going around the neighborhood and I ride over to Publix. I go everywhere on this scooter. Yeah. But, I haven't got to that one yet. Uh, you saw what I have. Not well, if you like to get out and just get around and not, I mean, I got a walker and I'll try to walk around a little bit with the walker, but it really fatigues me. And uh, so I, I ride this most of the time. I go over to Publix and stuff. And, um, I go over here to the VA clinic from all my treatments except Gainesville. Yeah. Gainesville, I have to ride the shuttle. They got a shuttle. Uh, my main one is in, we have auxiliaries in Charleston. Yeah. Well, you're how old are you? Eighty-three. Yeah, you you. I'm seventy. I'm seventy-eight. At least you're still shaving. I I just got where I don't want to shave. I'll hit it with the clippers every once in a while. Well, when I kiss my wife, she is she desires to shave. Your wife living? I lost my wife thirteen years ago. She was sixty-three. She was uh. She was sick most of her life. She had rheumatoid arthritis real bad, and then she become diabetic, and just a lot of things going on. She had a stroke there at the last, so that was it. But I sure miss her, I'll tell you that. that you know, when you got a spouse, to me, it's somebody that's got your back and, miss, and picks up on the stuff that I miss. That, that's the way it was me and her, and I, I felt, I just felt naked when she passed away, I just... The wife and I have been together in March, will be 60 years. 60? So, so, yeah, I, I, I'm like you, man, there's no way. Her and the girls decided to go to Orlando about two years ago, maybe three, and leave me there, okay, which is unusual. But anyway, uh, someone said, did you miss your wife? I said, well, I don't know. I can't find any clean clothes. There's dishes piling up in the sink, and I can't find nothing to eat. <laughs> yeah. I better run in and visit with him. All right. Go, I'm, uh, I'm nice, nice to you meet you. What's your first name again? Lester. 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 Okay. I'm hard to hear. I am too. Uh, I wear hearing aids. Just don't have me in. Uh, down this way, my name is Lie Astor. <laughs> okay. All right, Lester. Nice Have a good one. Tell you folks in there, I said hi. I will do. And I like I like his idea of a yard with rocks. Oh yeah, I'm working on that. <laughs> I've got my backyard is gardens, and uh, I have uh, raised beds, and that's what I'm doing. I'm graveling it all in the walkway. Uh, yeah, that way you don't have to cut the grass. Worry about the weeds. No. All right, my friend. You take care. Thank you, Lester. Have a good one. You too, son. What's your first name? Uh, What's your first name? Russell. Russell. It's right on that card. Yeah, I read it, but then put it away and forgot. <laughs> well, I'll forget, too. You, you, care, you have a good one. Now, see there I got seen them folks walk by and so on a whim I jumped on the scooter and come over here and you know what while I'm out I'm going down here to see if Lauren is out I need to talk to her but yes I met the gentleman he's a he's a veteran and uh, he's a marine and he likes to talk we've been married 60 years i wish i could have had 60 years of my life let's see our 60th would be 64 74 84 94 2004 2004 2024 would be our sixth year. Uh, oh, I like this ball breeze. I love it. Look at the leaves. My goodness.
So now he'll probably subscribe to my channel, I hope. Uh, <clears throat> is my hearing aid turned down or testing? Te yeah, I guess it was turned down a little bit. I guess it was. See Lauren. she'll have her next yard sale. I wonder if they ever drive that uh, pickup. I'd like to have that pickup. Well, no. Uh, okay. I won't bug her. I'll catch you one day. 